Hey, Quinn, do you want some pomegranate? Yeah, sure. What am I supposed to do with this? It's frozen! Well, that's just one of the problems animals have in the winter. That's why they hibernate. Well, Dad eats double stuffed frozen Oreos. We all eat double stuffed frozen Oreos in this house. In fact, if you haven't ever tried it, let us know what you think in our Instagram. Is there anything else we should learn about hibernation? Lots. If you think about how people begin to get ready for the winter time, they start to wear coats, hoodies, hats, gloves, and even boots to keep them warm. Hot soups, stews, and comfort foods are also made more as well as drinking hot chocolate and teas. People turn on their heaters or light their fireplaces, which can be fun when roasting marshmallows. And this is what people do to get ready for the cold, harsh winter weather. But wild animals don't have these options. That's right, Quinn. Some animals are not able to live through the extreme cold during the winter months, and the food that animals eat also becomes scarce or not available at all. Most plants stop producing leaves and seeds that animals eat to survive. And smaller animals used as food for larger animals may actually move to warmer location which reduces the food supply even more. Animals without thick protective fur or the ability to warm up can freeze to death. And hibernation is what these animals will do to survive in the freezing cold temperatures. These animals will find a safe shelter to hide and sleep during the winter season. And they come back out when the warmer weather returns, and that's when they begin their regular activities all over again. And hibernating animals look like they're actually dead. They hardly breathe, and their body temperature is just above the freezing mark. Most animals that hibernate live in areas that get very cold during the winter. Some of these animals are bears, squirrels, groundhogs, mice, raccoons, bats, frogs, woodchucks, turtles, and believe it or not, even some insects. To help them get ready before going into hibernation, animals will eat lots of food during the fall so they can survive the cold winter. I always see your dad eating lots, even during the summer. But he doesn't hibernate. Okay. Well, Gus, I just do that because I like to eat sometimes. But animals do this because they need to add body fat during these cold months so they can actually hibernate and survive through the winter. A black bear can gain up to 30 pounds a week during its pre-hibernation eating binge. Okay, I've got a question for you. What? How much more do you think they would gain if they knew about frozen double stuffed Oreos? A lot more. And guess what? We're not sponsored. And their metabolism, which is the rate that the body burns calories, really slows down to save their energy. Their breathing and heartbeat slows down too, and their body temperature drops as well to help with energy. You see, they have internal controls that stop their body temperature from falling too low that they might end up freezing to death. And there are a few hibernating animals that will wake for short periods during hibernation. They will eat and go to the bathroom, but the others will sleep through the entire winter. You see, it's important to realize that there are actually two different types of fat in animals, brown fat and white fat. White fat is the normal, regular fat that animals have but hibernating animals need brown fat too. Brown fat is around their lungs, brain, and heart. That's right, Quinn, and this fat sends quick 
burst of energy to warm these important organs. Now, a lot of animals sleep more and save their energy during the winter, but this is not truly hibernating. You see, when an animal just sleeps, their body temperature doesn't drop too much. Noise also can wake a sleeping animal, but not a hibernator. Bears will spend most of the winter asleep, but their body temperature barely even changes at all. In fact, a bear will move around if woken up. And believe it or not, Female bears give birth and nurse during this time of the year. Did you know that there are turtles, frogs, and fish that will take shelter under fallen leaves, rocks, and logs in the water during winter? And when the weather begins getting cold, they move down to the bottom of ponds, lakes, and even hide in the mud. Hey, guess what? Did you know that some insects also hibernate? They will burrow in holes in the ground, in rotting logs, and under tree bark. And many insects and spiders are frozen solid during the winter. Warmer temperatures will tell an animal to come out of hibernation. Now, when most people think of hibernating, a bear is probably the most common animal to think about. But here are some facts about a few other animals that hibernate too. Did you know that snakes actually don't hibernate? They do something called brumation. They brumate. And it's similar to hibernation, but not exactly the same. Snakes will stay very close to each other and slow down their metabolic rate. When the sun comes back out, they then go out and heat themselves up. Turtles take very drastic measures to survive in the winter. That's true, Gus. In fact, turtles actually become even slower in the winter when the temperatures cool down. This saves their energy and slows down their metabolism so they can survive until springtime. Many people don't know if squirrels and chipmunks actually hibernate. And technically squirrels do not actually hibernate either. They actually store food in their homes and do not actually like being out in the cold weather. Instead, they just sleep a lot. They sleep all huddled together using their stored food to make it through the winter. And when there's some warm weather, a squirrel or sometimes even chipmunks will come out to collect more food and eat and bring back to their homes. This is why you still may see some squirrels during the winter, but not nearly as often as summer and the spring. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know about hibernation. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Bye. Bye.